For generations, people have gazed up at the night sky, captivated by a vast ocean of stars, silent, endless, and mysterious. We created stories from the constellations and found our way across the world by their light, but our view was always limited. It was like trying to enjoy a beautiful symphony from behind a wall. You know something incredible is happening, but you can't quite experience it fully. Each new telescope let us open that door a bit more, offering brief glimpses into the universe's hidden wonders. Then came Hubble. Suddenly it was like stepping into the concert hall. The music of the cosmos became clear and vibrant. We saw galaxies swirling, nebulae glowing, and a universe more alive and stunning than we ever imagined. Hubble changed everything, uncovering mysteries we never even knew were out there. But even Hubble couldn't look all the way back to the universe's very beginning, the first notes of creation's song. The earliest moments of the cosmos stayed hidden, locked behind a cosmic curtain. We dreamed of a new kind of telescope, one powerful enough to reveal those ancient secrets. And now, we're on the edge of a brand new era of discovery. Enter the James Webb Space Telescope, a golden-eyed marvel, not just a telescope, but a time machine. Its 21-foot mirror, crafted from 18 gold-coated hexagons, is built to capture the faintest, oldest light in the universe. Gold isn't for show, it's for reflecting infrared light, revealing what's hidden from ordinary eyes. Unlike Hubble, Webb orbits a million miles from Earth at the second Lagrange point L2, a place of deep cold darkness. Its tennis court-sized five-layer sunshield blocks heat and light from the sun, earth and moon, keeping Webb frigid, essential for seeing faint heat from the early universe. The hot side faces the sun at 185 degrees Fahrenheit, while the cold side, where the science happens, drops to minus 390 degrees Fahrenheit. This extreme cold is Webb's secret heat would blind its vision, so it must be colder than what it observes. Webb's launch and unfolding in space was a high-stakes ballet. Every step had to be perfect. Decades of work by thousands worldwide led to this moment. Now Webb's golden eye is open, peering back to the cosmic dawn. It's the most complex, powerful observatory ever built. And it's already showing us things that once existed only in theory and imagination. The universe's earliest secrets are finally within reach. We're not just looking farther, we're looking deeper, into time itself. The adventure has only just begun. Before Webb, our story of the universe was clear. The Big Bang. A hot, dense beginning, then a slow cooling. For hundreds of thousands of years, darkness reigned. No stars, just clouds of hydrogen and helium. Our models predicted the first stars would be massive, short-lived, and lonely, slowly forging the first heavy elements. From their ashes, small, irregular galaxies would gradually form, a slow, bottom-up construction. Scientists expected Webb to confirm this faint, messy baby galaxies, the universe's first flickers of light. We thought we'd see the cosmic dawn, tracing the path from smooth beginnings to the galaxy-filled universe we know. Theories were set, simulations run, expectations high. We were ready to find the first bricks in the cosmic wall. But when Webb sent back its first images from the edge of time, everything changed. The universe's story was thrown into beautiful, glorious chaos. What we saw didn't fit the script. The cosmos was more surprising than we'd ever imagined. Our understanding was about to be rewritten. The real mystery had just begun. Webb's first deep field images arrived, and astronomers were stunned. Instead of tiny, chaotic proto-galaxies, Webb found massive, bright, well-formed galaxies just 300-500 million years after the Big Bang. Some were as massive as the Milky Way with disc-like structures we thought took billions of years to develop. It was like finding a fully grown oak where you expected a sprouting acorn. This impossible early galaxy problem shook the foundations of cosmology. The standard model, Lambda CDM, couldn't explain how so much matter formed so quickly. It was as if a skyscraper had been built in a week. Astronomers double-checked the data, questioned their interpretations, but the evidence only grew stronger. These galaxies are real, and they don't fit our recipe for the universe. Their existence challenges everything we thought we knew about cosmic evolution. The universe, it seems, was in a hurry. The cosmic timeline had to be reconsidered, a new mystery was unfolding before our eyes. Why is this so earth-shaking? Because it threatens to unravel our entire cosmic story. The standard model of cosmology has been our bedrock, predicting the universe's structure and evolution with stunning accuracy. It told us galaxies form slowly, from the bottom up. But Webb's discoveries suggest the universe built itself much faster, or in a completely different way. To get such massive galaxies so early, 
either star formation was wildly efficient or galaxy formation was somehow accelerated. This isn't a minor tweak, it's a fundamental challenge. It's like finding a smartphone in an ancient pyramid, the timeline just breaks. Are our ideas about gravity or dark matter incomplete? Did the universe start out lumpier than we thought? Each possibility opens a new can of cosmic worms. The real shock isn't just that we were wrong, it's how wrong we might have been. We thought we were filling in details, but maybe we missed the whole first chapter. The universe just got a lot weirder, and that's what makes science exciting. We're back at the drawing board, questioning our most basic assumptions. The cosmos is stranger and more wonderful than we ever imagined. Imagine building a Lego castle, expecting it to take a year, but finding it nearly finished after a week. You'd wonder, did you have help? Were there pre-assembled pieces, or are the bricks themselves special? That's the puzzle Webb has handed us. Maybe the universe started with bigger seeds of structure than we thought, or maybe star formation was supercharged, or dark matter acted in ways we don't yet understand. Perhaps we're misreading the evidence. Maybe these galaxies just look bigger or older than they are. Scientists are using Webb's instruments to dissect the light from these galaxies, searching for clues. It's cosmic detective work. Every new image, every data point is another piece of the puzzle. Theorists and observers are running new simulations, testing new ideas, and pointing Webb at more ancient objects. Is this a universal phenomenon, or just a few oddballs? We're not just confirming old stories, we're solving a genuine mystery. The suspects include our most basic ideas about the cosmos. Webb has changed the game. The investigation is just beginning. The universe is keeping us on our toes. This isn't just about galaxies, it's about us. The universe's story is our story. The elements in our bodies were forged in ancient stars. If galaxies formed faster, the building blocks of life appeared much earlier than we thought. The window for life to arise in the cosmos might be far wider than we imagined. Maybe we're not the first to the party. Maybe life began elsewhere long before Earth existed. It's a humbling, exhilarating thought. These discoveries force us to rethink our place in the cosmic drama. Our understanding is always evolving. We use tools like Webb to peer into the darkness and piece together our origins. When the universe surprises us, it's a gift, a reminder that there's always more to learn. The story of galaxies is the story of how we came to be. So, where do we go from here? Webb has opened a Pandora's box of cosmic questions. Scientists are racing to confirm the nature of these massive early galaxies. Are they as common and massive as they seem? Webb's mission is just beginning probing exoplanet atmospheres, watching stars and planets form, mapping dark matter and dark energy. Each discovery could upend what we think we know. The impossible galaxy problem is likely just the first of many surprises. The big questions remain. Are we alone? What is dark matter? What is the fate of the cosmos? Space exploration is about curiosity, about understanding our place in the universe. The next chapter is unwritten, and Webb is our new eye on the unknown. The cosmos is speaking in a new language and we're just learning to listen. Keep looking up.